Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Are you tired of CD and DVD media dragging you down with its slowness and largeness and fragileness? Whenever you want to install Windows, you got to find that disk and who knows where it is and it's hard to slipstream updates into it and just ugh. Today's episode is going to be how to set up installing Windows from a USB drive. So you, all you need is a few simple things. You need a USB drive, at least four gigs in capacity. You will also need a Windows DVD or CD as it were, whatever kind of media you want to use. You will also need some kind of optical drive compatible device. So in this case, we've taken our Sapphire Edge HD3 and we're using an external optical drive with it, although you could just use any normal computer to set up the whole process. And when you're done the eight or nine easy steps or whatever we're about to show you, you will have a USB drive that is capable of installing Windows as long as you have a valid license on any PC with a USB port. <laughs> Now we're going to show you guys pretty much the whole process in one go here. So all you have to do is put your ordinary USB drive into your machine. You go ahead and open an elevated command prompt. So you just type CMD in the search here, whether you're running Windows 7 or Windows Vista like me. Uh, you right click and then run as administrator. After that, all you do is type disk part and we'll give you guys a close up of this. And apparently that didn't work. Disk park doesn't work. Disk part will. Aha. So that'll hold on, hold for a second running on computer Linus PC. Now we have opened up the partitioning software within Windows. So we want to list disk. Then we want to select disk number, let's see, we want disk one. So that is our 30 gig USB drive. If we select disk zero and try to format that, that isn't going to work. That is our boot drive. That would be very, very bad. All right. Disk one is the selected disk. We type clean and it will clean it. You can actually see it's open right here. So it's uh, apparently didn't do anything, but whatever. Create partition primary. Created it. Okay. Active. Yep. Format FS equals FAT32 quick. So this is just formatting the drive in the format FAT32. So that's what we're using to install our Windows operating system. That'll probably take a moment. You're going to have to cut this at some point. Oh, it's done. It's done. Okay. Never mind. We'll keep going. Okay. Then we. <laughs> Then we type assign. All right, there we go. So we have formatted and assigned it. Now all we have to do is open this up and use our Windows disk, which we have in our handy dandy external uh, DVD drive. Although you can use like a other computer in order to set this up and then use the USB drive to install in your computer. So we're doing it this way. Uh, we have our removable disk here. All we have to do is take all the files in the root directory of our DVD drive here. Oop. Uh, okay, explore and copy them into our USB drive. Takes a while. Now something that you may have to do depending on your PC, you can see we're going to press F7 for the boot selection or you can press delete or F2 or whatever it is on your computer to go into the BIOS and you may have to change the boot order of your system because normally to install an OS, you would want to boot from your optical drive. We're not going to do that. We want to boot from our USB drive. So we are going to boot from Corsair UFD, which, uh, okay, either one of these two will be fine. And voila. After going through all the completely normal, usual procedures, click, 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 next, 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 all of that stuff, we are booted into our freshly installed copy of Windows. All that's left to do is install some drivers, get all our favorite utilities. Hey, check out the video we did on Ninite, which is a quick way to get all of your favorite stuff installed. And other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed how to install Windows from a USB key. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.